Good everyone, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. In this video I'm going to talk about some revision number fact worksheets. So this is from this book, 10 minutes at A level 3. The book is called All Operations Revision and because it's revision we're covering more than one strategy on one page and so on this particular one we're looking at adding and subtracting decimals and multiplying and dividing by 8. So it really does rely on the students having a good grounding in all four operations and knowing what the answer is. I hope that light's all right. Okay, so we're going to start with adding and subtracting decimals. These will be questions like that. Oh, let's have an, whoops, trying to go too quickly. 0 0.6 plus 0 0.7 or a better way of reading it is 6 tenths plus 7 tenths equals. And of course it's based on the basic doubles plus 1 number fact of 6 plus 7 or double 6 and 1. 6 and 7 is 13. What's the answer going to be here? Now that's my mistake. I'm trying to illustrate the most common mistake the students will make will be this one and say oh that's 0 0.13 which of course illustrates a bit of a problem reading these as 0 0.6. That's the most um, likely mistake if a student's going to get it wrong. What I would say here is the problem is not about placement of the decimal point. I know that's what it looks like but it's really a problem of not understanding the question and not understanding the values that are involved. So this is 6 tenths, this is 7 tenths. If you add tenths plus tenths what are you going to get? Of course it's tenths, 6 and 7 is 13. Now you could, I should put the correct answer up here in case this becomes the uh, thumbnail on YouTube. So if we're adding we could quickly draw some diagrams or have this ready on PowerPoint or something. I have 0 0.6, 0 0.7 so we'll shade that in. I'm doing this too quickly. We can see that the result of this if we add that together will be an entire whole plus three more, making one whole and three tenths. Okay, so we want our students to think about how big it is. I'm probably taking a bit too long on this particular question, but um, this is important that when we extend the number facts into decimal fractions, they don't lose the plot and start going, oh yes, just put the dot and then, you know, add the numbers after the decimal point sort of thing. Similar one, 1 1.2 take away 0 0.5 or 1 and 2 tenths. The students will have to be able to see that's 12 tenths and this is 5 tenths and so 12 take away 5 is 7 tenths 0 0.7. Okay let's move on to multiplying and dividing by 8. As I said this is revision we're not expecting to have to reteach the strategy at great length but we might do it you know reasonably quickly so let's say we start with a question like 3 times 8 what's that going to be students? A, if the student knows the answer is 24, that's it, great, you know it, no more to do. But what if you don't know it? The strategy that we use is double, double, double. It takes a bit of time, but it's, it's accurate, it's going to get you the right answer. So let's say, start with 3, double that will give you 6, double 6 will give you 12, double 12 will give you 24, and there's our answer. It takes longer to write it down. Um, than it does to think about it and obviously we want this to be done fairly quickly so we want the students to move on pretty fast onto just remembering them but this is for those who haven't remembered and still need that uh, assistance of the strategy. Dividing by 8 let's start with the most difficult one my favorite difficult number fact 56 divided by 8 we can do the doubling in reverse and halve the number three times. The first part is going to be the most difficult so start with 56. What's half that? Half of that going to be? We're going to have to do some regrouping so it'll take a little while but we should see that that's 28 because this will be two with one left to make 16 ones and so on. Half of 28 students is 14, half of 14 is 7 so there is our answer. As I said it's all revision so hopefully this will be a, a nice brush up for the students and uh, they'll get faster and faster. That's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll talk to you next time.